<laughs> now we're back. Well, I thought you you were gonna continue. I'm out, I'm all out of ways to, you know, give some love for Ireland and talk crap about France. Yeah, right. Fuck okay. France. Yeah, we love Ireland. I like France. They won the World Cup. Show some respect. Well, they finally won something without America's help. Oh, right, <laughs> man. This is an international podcast. I think we should extend like the olive branch of peace. If not this is international, I just want to say it. Fuck France. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's that was actually the next topic we were going to talk about. Is how we that um, on the list? Um, we weren't gonna. Um, you get to pick where this podcast goes, and we're not going to do France. I, I wanted to see if you were cool with that. Uh, I mean, am I being outvoted here? I mean, well, I don't. I didn't realize I would have a vote. So I'm just a guest. You're right. You don't get a vote. Yeah, but in like, fact, I get two votes. This sounds like some kind of voting system in France. To be <laughs> honest. And of course, say nothing is obviously saying nothing right now. Yeah, yeah. I miss him so much. Anyway. I never met him, but I miss him. Right. Speaking of great politics, <laughs> but, you know, uh, no, you know, you know, it's fucking weird that I found. So, um, I don't know if I told you, Kevin. Like, I work at a welding shop. Yeah. And we make a- animal cages. Oh. A- and um, they, yeah, that, that's the first question on the interview is like, are you? Um, well, it's technically considered surgical materials for animals and it's uh so so it's a real fucking headache because you, most welding places it's either co- uh strength which is like railroads yeah or cosmetic where it like is the b- biggest piece of shit but it looks good yeah so we have to do both because like you can't have sharp edges because if you're testing something on an animal exactly like the yeah. doctor cuts yourself open so and i, I don't like I, I mean i'm not offended by it because i'm like what are they gonna put like shampoo on gorillas whatever whatever needs to be done i need a fucking job so fuck you animals no i know but i mean <laughs> um so uh what's weird is that i didn't even know this that they were telling me about like each year about like because i keep asking them like so when the fuck is overtime gonna end because i've been working for like like 55 hour weeks since i started there four months ago Cha-ching. <clears throat> And they're like, dude, you know what's crazy is that, I mean, it's I work with all like super Polish people, so n- nobody gives a fuck about voting or anything. But what's crazy is they were telling me how it, I mean, and another argument about campaign financing, that they get super fucking busy when there's a Republican in because Democrats hate animal testing. Yeah. So that's, Interesting. I don't know. I thought it was crazy. Hmm. How do you think your coworkers would react if they found out that you destroyed the king's tree? The king's tree. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't. I think I told them, but it was a day that it was someone's birthday, and he brought a shitload of vodka chocolates. Okay, so they, perfect. They found it funny. So they were distracted. Yes. Good. Perfect. Vodka to the uh, destroyed tree. Wait, yeah. Polish people like vodka? Yeah. What? Wow. So is that a stereotype? Yeah. What the? F- Probably. Doesn't everyone like vodka? I don't. <laughs> Clear liquors yeah, are rich from uh, on diets. I think Russian people like vodka. Polish people. Only like vodka if you get to beat your wife with it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes sense. With the vodka, like I'm, the bottle. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm Irish, so I like whiskey. Yeah, but they're not mutually exclusive. You can like whiskey and vodka. No, regardless of nationality. You can mix them. You know, to yeah. be to, if you want to really have you know diversity in your glass. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. That's. <laughs> and but uh, yeah, no, I I thought that was kind of weird. I, I didn't know that. And uh, the other thing, um, I'm just I'm just. Th- these are all great ideas that I thought about. You know, yeah. great pondering. Sure. Um, well, whatever Kevin and I will decide if they're great. Okay. Yes, yes. I thought, well, this one is fucking great, man. Okay. Uh, no, no votes. We'll be the judge of that. Because <laughs> this is France. Sure. This is France. Okay. And um, what the fuck happened to chicks with dicks? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, like that shit. This is great. Yes. Like that shit used to be so cool, but it's 2018. So it's just like, no, this is the cool thing. And I'm thinking, no, we need, this, we need, we need to come up with that click of what chicks with dicks used to be and i thought man we should Wait, make what did it used to be well I think and what it is it now well <laughs> i need some context well, here n- well now it's cr- it's uh it's too popular now man it's it's an industry now okay and i think that there needs to be a little bit more they need to be more um thoughtful of like everybody's fetishes and yeah make something like you know why not have like goons with poons so like a bunch <laughs> of mafia guys with vaginas. Well, honestly, if you can think of it, there's more than likely a porno for it. Yeah. It it's is. like w- that's one of the rules of life. Yeah. Yeah. Was that rule 34? Yeah, yeah, it's rule. Yeah, that's the rule. If it exists, 
There's porn of it. My mom, when she was working at Playboy, she used, actually used to have, to have to screen porn, like to see if it would like meet Playboy's high high standards of porn. Really? Yeah. yeah there was this like she used to watch shit that would give her nightmares. <laughs> Like they're like all the bondage and shit like that. Yeah. But there was this one. It was clown incest porn. Give this to hustler. <laughs> this is fucked yeah. up. <laughs> Did that clown meet the high incest. standards? I don't think it met it. <laughs> clown incest. It was clown. Someone was dressed like up the- as a clown, but that was fucking his daughter. Was it? Uh, was ICP involved? I think so. Yes, insane yeah. clown pussy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. That sounds like they have some. They have some deep insane. ICP has Everybody some deep lyrics. Everybody come to the greatest <laughs> show. Gather up all. I think my favorite ICP lyric has got to be magnets. How do those work? Miracles. It's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, That's I a great pondering. I, yeah, I learned what, how magnets work in the That's fifth grade. So. I thought that was like Nietzsche. What he's just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> very zen. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, miracles. Speaking of bands, so <laughs> <laughs> dude, you're just spot on with these transitions. Great, right? se- great, great segues. Well, the, I, I don't know. How, you want to transition this, man, <laughs> Mr. Franz? <laughs> no, you're doing a great job. No, it's oh, it's fuck subtle. It. It's smooth. I, right? It, is is it? Honestly, I think you're doing all right. Okay. I think it's pretty obvious, but okay. you know? doing better than me. Right? Yeah. Fucking um. So um, we went to. I forgot what I went to. The last. Renaissance Fair. No, no, no. With. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention that. <laughs> Speaking of bands, the Renaissance Fair. Right? <laughs> Tell me I'm doing transitions bad. <laughs> Fucking. No, so speaking of bands, the Renaissance Fair. No, that that was a, it was fucking hot as fuck. Uh 90 degree weather and um so you def- I mean, I couldn't even c- wear a, uh, like a shitty fucking costume like made last moment because of how hot it was, you know? That uh, how were the how were the actors? Were they the actors? Yeah, like aren't there just people like walking around? One like, person got hello, me, One person got me convinced because it's kind of in like a trailer park area, sure. and it was a witch with no teeth. I'm like, yep, yeah, she's she's the meth addict, you know. That's right. sure. <laughs> Did they have meth back then? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. I mean, if she's a witch and she's got all those like boiling, that's true. The uh, labs and everything, but um, yeah, the I mean, uh. I don't. I don't know. I didn't. Everything that I got excited about kind of turned me down. I'm like, ooh, Aww. there's a fucking chainmail shop, and I go in there, and it's like all bracelets. There's no fucking like. I want you know a chainmail thong or sure. or like a fucking workout shirt. You know. Sure. I can't now. I can't stop picturing you in a chainmail thong. Right. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Someone's not sleeping tonight. That meets Playboy's high standards. Exactly. Right? I'll push this on a hustler. Playboy, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> they're not listening. No, they're not. Are they yeah. a thing anymore? They are still a thing. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I w- I would not get the chainmail thong. I'm a welder, okay? That that has certain precautions. Yeah, you can make yeah, you can make your own. Right. Yeah. You know, would that be considered cosmetic or strength though? Ooh. Hmm. Well, I'm I'm white man. So yeah, exactly. It, it, there's no strength. And a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, but I mean, I'm I'm trying to think what else like expensive fucking food. Uh, well, yeah, it's a fest. What do you expect? Yeah, how much were how much was it to get in? I think it, I think it was only like twenty bucks. Okay, and then but but then like you know twenty bucks for a fucking pickle on a popsicle stick. Yeah, right. it's like it's twenty bucks just admission that it doesn't get you anything, not like a free beer or anything like that. No, 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 fuck that. Yeah, I can't stand fest like that. And then the beers that you do get is like half of this red cup. Exactly, you're paying so. you're paying ten dollars for a three dollar beer. Yeah, fancy yeah. some ale, sir. A pint reminds of lager. Me as, it reminds me of farewell to Slayer, right? That oh my god, fourteen dollar fucking what margarita fucking, or Bloody no, Mary? No, those are like eighteen tall boys of Limerita. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, it was no fucking you. no bad. I went to uh, the last concert I was at. I went to go get a beer. Just a, a just a twelve ounce bottle of Miller Lite was like fifteen dollars. Uh, I can go to the liquor store and get a I get a six pack of craft beer for fifteen dollars. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's well. That's true about like everything in life, you know. And I've been thinking about it now that I moved out. And I'm on a budget. Like, oh, I could go to this brewery and get twenty ounces of awesome beer, or go home and slam a twelve pack of old style for the same price. Yeah. So. See, personally, and t- and tell I would, buddy. Yeah. Tell everyone at the bar, fuck this place. Go come to my yeah, place. Right? That's yeah, and that's what I do. I don't. I go to the brewery not to purchase their product, just to let them know that I'm not purchasing their product. Like eight dollars, I could get a twelve pack of old style and slam it at home. I'm leaving. See, I'm really indignant about it. See, personally, I'd I'd go for the uh, I'd go for the uh, twenty ounces of beer over the old style. Really? Yeah. But you're not much of a drinker. No, I'm. I drink more for the taste. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, you're doing it wrong. Well, it's okay. <laughs> the more you drink, the better it tastes. Well, I I disagree. <laughs> I can piss in a can. You probably still think it tastes like old style. Probably. Yeah, I know. Hot yeah. tub. Hot tub. Bro tub. water. Yeah. Mm. Man, put a little cat just, food with that. Just add some vodka, add some whiskey. That, and more diversity that's, there. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Right? <laughs>